everyone, Tragic here to show off a slideshow of my last trip to Las Vegas. Here's me in the hotel room, getting ready. Here's me down on the casino floor, checking out the games. Here's me meeting some people out on the strip. And here's my third trip to the buffet. And here I am at the end of the trip, reflecting on what a good time I had. All in all, this trip to Vegas cost me about $8,000. Or it would have if I had actually gone. And why would I go to Vegas? and spend $8,000 at the casino, and on hotels, and on food, and entertainment, and getting drunk, when I can spend the same amount of money on this lot of Magic the Gathering cards from Goodwill of Northern Connecticut. This tiny little box here. Why did it go so high? Well, I'll give you a little sneak peek. Most of you should be able to recognize a couple of standouts there. So, without further ado, let's get into the box and see what's really there and see if I can get my gamble back on this. Okay, here with Lady Luck to get into this little box and see how I did from the goodwill of Connecticut. Here we go. Did I hit the jackpot? Or did I crap out? Let's find out. Here's an invoice. Here's some packing. And here are a couple little boxes. Let's see. That one. That one. And that one. Eighty two hundred dollars. Okay, scanner ready. And yep, there's the total, 82.65. So I got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Let's hope there's better than a black knight, so. Here, there's a soul ring. So, hey, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. So, soul ring, revised edition, 13 bucks or so. Now, demonic tutor. Got some play to it. 38 bucks. Oh, there we go. Now, this is something that I did not see uh, in the stacks. Um, the pictures for um, the Goodwill listing um, really fuzzy. You can make out some of the really big stuff that you'd be looking for. I was really hoping to see some surprises like this. This is in really good condition. It's got a little bit of... It's pretty close to near, near mint, I'd say. Excellent reserve list card. Um, probably like the... Second best card in alliances. $69.99. That's a winner. So that's our first little box right there. Looks like it was actually a deck. Someone actually probably played this. Vampires and demonic tutors and put out a bunch of black mana with Lake of the Dead. That's a deck. And there it is. So which box should I do next? Uh, I don't know, but I think this one is probably the the most exciting. So I'm going to go into this and see what we got here. It's
couple of kings and a wizard goblin wizard from the dark this card kind of goes up and down to revert reserve list one of the better cards from the dark right now sitting at 60 bucks that's pickable and it's in pretty decent shape for what it is No unlimited yet, and again, that kind of looked like most of a deck there. Uh, let's see, now these are in here sideways. Let's grab them and see what we get. The good stuff right there. Force of Will. I did see about three of those in the listing, and here we go with the good stuff here too. Plateau in uh, pretty decent light, yeah, light to medium play. Here we go. This force of will. Decent shape, light play. We'll keep it in there. Well being a hundred and one dollars. That's what I'm after here. This uh This is looking good. Plateau. Just double check here. Yep, it's played. But at 224 bucks, I'll take it. Incinerates Tropical Island. And this is the kind of stuff I'm after right here. And a Mistress. Oh, this is a foreign Mistress Factory in, I guess, uh, German? Excellent. Tropical Island. This one's in really nice condition here. Oh yeah, that's that was uh, mostly put in the sleeve. Looks like it's it's near mint. So extremely happy about that because it is. Of course, I can't see it. There we go. Five eighty-eight for Tropical Island. Here we go. We're on the way. Excellent. Um, really trying to build a position of these. Um, I've just found a few throughout the years of uh, revised dual lands in my random buys. So uh, this is more of a targeted acquisition so much, but there's enough mystery in this. Something like, like the Lake of the Dead was a mystery to me. So I'm hoping for more of that. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, we got some more dual lands coming up. So, uh, Misha's Factory, um, Foreign Black Border. Obviously less desirable than the English version. We'll go with 80 bucks, even though the reality may be not quite that high. But there it is. And a Taiga. Uh, a little bit of light play there. 322 right now. Put it on the stack. And a Savannah. And a Birds of Paradise. A little bit of play, not too bad. Well, it's not that one, unfortunately. That would be really nice. But a revised Savannah, I will take. Let's just put them in a stack right there. Birds of Paradise and a Wheel of Fortune. We are on our way. The BOP. Yeah, you know me. 1350. Wheel and another tropical island. Is what I'm talking about. So it was pretty pretty smart of the goodwill to lay these all out. I get the impression that that particular goodwill didn't really know what they had, but they knew enough. Uh, to, to spread these all out and show them off. I'm kind of glad they they did it that way. Um, you see mostly what you're getting. And uh, there's still a little bit left for the mystery. Another bolt. 
Another Taiga. Yeah, these are all in pretty solid condition. So being... Power Sink and another Savannah. Counterspell and oh my god. This was not shown in the listing. I am so happy to see this. Yeah, it's got uh, quite a bit of play. Okay, Counterspell, we'll get back to you in a second. Awesome. Well, a beta soul ring, even in uh, somewhat rough shape. That's a heck of a lot better than a revised soul ring. Now let, let me double check. Okay, is this inked by chance? Doesn't look like it. That looks looks like the real deal. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah, definitely. Like, oh, I'll be generous. To say, yeah, it's moderate to heavy play, but. What does it scan up at? Alpha no. Beta yes. 532. Quite a bit less for condition, but hey. Uh, this one was not visible. It was underneath the stacks. So it's a very nice surprise to see that. Yeah, let's get some more of that. And another tropical island. But being. And this one's in pretty good condition. Light play. Bloodlust and the taiga. And a volcanic island. Yeah, I had seen there were probably two of these in here somewhere. Another plateau. This one's in pretty good shape. Very happy with that. But being 599, hey, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Plateau. Here's another volcanic island. Good shape, this one. There's a savanna. Lightning bolt. Wow, there we go. Some unlimited. Unlimited Berserk. And uh, this is one that was shown in the listing. Not a beta. Unlimited 94. That's Keeper. There's a Taiga. Chaos Sphere. That's a rare. Uh, it's a reserve list, I believe. Yeah, it's one that, you know, would have been bulk for a long time, but currently sitting at five bucks with the reserve list craze. Hey, there's another reserve list card that I'm crazy about. Another Wheel of Fortune. This one has got a bit more play than the other one. There's a fork. Juggernaut, City of Brass, a uh, card that's been going up. Oh, that's another card that's very nice. Another Force of Will, City of Brass, decent. And here's an English Factory, excellent. So, another Force of Will, it's been picked in and out of the sleeve a couple times. But it's a keeper. So, this is the Summer Factory, I think. Let's see if we can recognize it. Or spring, okay. 34 bucks right now. Put it there. Vault. 
Volcanic Island again. Uh, I think I counted two. So this is a surprise, and I'm very happy about that. Savannah. We broke even, but we need to do a little better than that to actually break even, so here we go. Another force of will, and another tropical island to finish out this box. Boom. We still got this box, which looks like it's the crusher. Got a gauntlet of might in there. I don't know what this guy's deal is. And uh, Sunday morning Nerf Wars, Watsy's secret weapon. Some kind of minotaur. This well-loved 200 count box. Was this a deck? And then some? Probably. Unsleeved. <laughs> so we got a Land's Edge, and a Lich, and a Blaze of Glory art in there, so. Someone was really into the magic cards at one point. Uh, I guess we'll start from this side. Get a side as any. There we go. Underground sea. And an underground sea. And an underground sea. And an underground sea. There we go, people. So, these were shown in the listing. Um... They definitely have seen some play, but I'm happy to have them. This one's actually really good. Here we go, Underground Sea from Revised. Times four. Three, three, four. Six fourteen a piece right now. Obviously, that's like full near mint price. I'll take it. Excellent. All right, what else is in here? The rack and a plateau. Hey, mystical tutor. So, that's a keeper. Hey, fast bond. There we go. Twenty one for a couple of fast bonds there. Amulet, hey, the Lotus Pal. So this collection has been kind of all over the place all the way up to 2015. That seems like the kind of stuff that maybe the Goodwill would have thrown in with this. The majority of this stuff was from way back, obviously. Lotus Pals are nine bucks. Another Goblin Wizard, all right. But being, we just passed 12,000 in full value which uh, probably puts us at about break even to be honest so hopefully there's some more good stuff in there like a copy artifact that copy artifact this one has been just skyrocketing lately yeah 84 bucks for this card right here if you can believe it I'll take it and a Badlands yeah There you go, 350, pretty decent. And a couple of sleight of mines, another Badlands, yes. Hey, that one's really good. That one didn't see like any play. Very nice. Um, I'll just add it. Sure, why not?
Well, I'd say that I'm happy with this. I'd be a little happier if I could get just a couple more. <laughs> Things like that. All right, there we go. Uh, fourth edition Savannah Lions. Over a buck. Force of Will again. Bing. Apocalypse Chime, hilarious. So I got a box full of these. Um, I bought a huge lot. I'm talking 100,000 cards from Star City Games. And uh, they were all rares. And I had about 100 of these in here. And lucky for me, good old Rudy uh, made him spike just a, like a month ago. I cashed in. Here they are again. What, have they come back down? Still like eight bucks. I'll take it. So another Melissa Benson signature on the Nightmare. I actually really love the art on uh, the card nightmare. I'll probably keep this one. Very cool. Um, being it was a little bit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna set that one aside. I think revised is set to take off since the other ABU set is. Uh, the prices are just crazy. People trying to get into this at this stage in the game, like me, are uh, probably looking for the next best thing, and that would be revised. Demonic Tutor. Well, being. Lord of Tressorhorn. Oh, and a bad lad. So there's more in here. There's more. This one, shockingly, has been going crazy in price. $7.99. Up from nothing. From forever ago, Badlands. Got play. Not that one. Didn't get lucky enough to get unlimited dual lands here. But that's okay. There's a tutor. It's been, <laughs> it's been tutored a lot. But there it is. Ooh. Yeah. These were in here too. And that was in there too. Bye you. 435 right now. Bam. And another one. Another one. Plateau. Uh wait, wrong badlands. Another bayou. Couple more. Whoa, there we go. So three more gins. And another bayou. But being $15,000. Sure, why not? Some call it luck, call it fate, call it karma.
Oh, there's a land tax. Um, Battle Royale, no, this is the fourth edition. 33. There is the Legends version, which is probably about the same, really. Yeah, it's since it's play. Wow, quite a bit more. 88, 95. There we go. Crusade. Now, here's an interesting card. Back then, there was nothing wrong with this card. Now, there's everything wrong with this card. So much so that I don't even think it'll scan. All the databases that these apps draw from have expunged this card from existence. So, it is now just a piece of history. Mystical Tutor. There you have it, $15,599 on 219 cards. And of course, that's a full value realized, which would be uh, difficult to do with, with these, especially in this condition. So I'm not expecting that. I feel like I could, even if I turn around and flip these right now, make more than what I paid, um, probably about $2,000 more. Let's, let's say it like that. But I'm actually more interested in um, doing a bit of a long-term hold on these revised dual lands and uh, having a bit of a collection uh, selling a lot of this other stuff to kind of recoup my investments and uh, you know just see how it goes I the market on these see they go up they go down they go up again and they're always going to be in demand um, with collectors doing what they do, collecting, taking them out of the market, and while demand grows, then the prices grow. So there you have it. The spoils of my latest random buy. All right there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below like and subscribe and all that jazz and i'll see you on the next one tragic mtg later